And so what I will be fighting for on the federal level is an investment in those organizations doing that work because more people are disclosing now than ever before. Ayanna Presley may be running in a predictable race tonight, but her primary win was anything but. The first black woman from Massachusetts to be elected to the House, Presley defeated 10-term incumbent Michael Capuano in a historic win back in the September primary. The BU alum made her experience as a sexual assault survivor a cornerstone of her campaign, sharing her story in campaign ads and speeches, and advocating for funding and support for sexual assault prevention services. I will always stand up for my survivor tribe. It is one of the reasons why I ran. Presley's election comes at the same time as Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez in New York, who also upset a major Democratic player in her primary. She's looking at herself on television right now. How are you feeling? Can you put it into words? Nope. <laughs> Presley's stances are very similar to incumbent Capuano's, but Presley takes the label a step further on some issues, such as advocating for the abolishment of the immigration and customs enforcement. To our immigrants worried about the knock on the door, change can't wait. Presley has promised to shake things up in Washington, but it remains to be seen whether her and the other progressive Democrats will be able to make a dent in the establishment Democrats' agenda. For BU News Service, I'm Naba Khan.